Salt Lake flooded with flags, banners and posters, candidates promising the moon. But voters here know what they want and weigh their options. I drive two-wheeler and there are like every year uh, new roads are constructed but after one rain or one monsoon it's again at the back to pavilion. In recent times the problem scarcity of drinking water has plagued the residents uh, quite a bit and as also the uh, water logging problems during the rains. This is the last chance for the opposition to dent Trinamool before assembly polls next year. So CPM's one-time finance minister is also in the race, a possible mayor. Big step, small step. Both these are equally important. Uh, as a finance minister, I was marshalling resources for the state. But then these are being used at the local level through panchayats or through municipalities duly elected. So it is very important to be associated with the other part also for someone who has always believed in decentralization. So I'm very happy. For Trinamool, Salt Lake is vital to prove it is not losing urban voters as some feel it is. Its probable mayor also guarantees trouble-free polling on Saturday. There are some worries about violence. It is my honest request to all the voters of this municipal corporation, if any citizen who has given his who is having his valid voter card and who is having his valid name in the voter list can't vote. Just give me a call on the voting day. I'll be there for his voting right. So big polls in Salt Lake on Saturday. They are civic elections, but they are the last major elections in the state before West Bengal goes to assembly polls next year. And these elections could well show which way the winds are blowing. In Salt Lake with Nirmal Sarkar, Monidipa Banerjee, NDTV.